This video explains how to get the number of rows and columns of a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step for this tutorial, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can already see that our data frame contains six rows and the four columns x1, x2, x3 and x4. However, in the following part of this tutorial, I want to show you how to count the number of rows and columns using functions and Python syntax. So in the first example of this tutorial, I want to show you how to count the number of rows using the shape attribute of our data frame. And after the shape attribute, we have to specify square brackets. And within the square brackets, we have to specify the value zero to tell Python that we want to extract the number of rows. And then I'm using the print function to print the output below the code box. So as you can see, our data frame contains six rows. Alternatively to the shape attribute, we can also use the length function as you can see in the next line of code. So after running this line of code, the value six is returned as well. And a third alternative that I want to show you to count the number of rows is based on the columns attribute and the count function. So after running this line of code, once again, the number of rows, which is equal to six, is returned. It's also possible to use the shape attribute to return the number of columns, as you can see in the sixth code box. And in this case, we have to specify the value one within square brackets instead of the value zero, as we did in the first example. So after running this line of code, the value four is returned, which shows the number of columns. And we can also use the length function to return the number of columns. However, this time we have to apply this function to the columns attribute of our data. So if we run this line of code, the value four is returned again. And in the last example, I want to show you that it's also possible to use the shape attribute to return the number of rows and columns, as you can see in this last line of code. So in this case, I'm not specifying any values in square brackets. And for that reason, the shape attribute returns the values six and four. And the first value corresponds to the number of rows. And the second number corresponds to the number of columns. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.